Well, in all this investigation that um, we engage here in these in these meetings, um, sometimes you know the deepest uh, truths, if you will, can get lost in all the words, seemingly, and what can come across as over overly complicated ways this can be understood and perceived and um so i thought i thought we we might uh go simple right now and um just explore the most obvious you could say the most obvious thing which is being What do they say in some of the traditions, the ground, the ground of being? Being, it's the ground, the ground of everything. The ground of us, the ground of every thought, the ground of every moment. Everything that's being experienced is being, being experienced, right? It's right there in the, in the, in the, what I said, everything being experienced, it's being, it's so simple. The feeling of this. A felt sense of your experience being the ground of being. All of this is being. All of this being held, supported by being but strangely a groundless ground isn't it because there's no there's no edge there's no finality to being it's just a limitless boundless expanse of being we're already dissolved disappeared in being because we are being there's not there's not two beings, there's just a being. Let's just let yourself see that, know that right now, which is the only time we can ever know it anyway, is right now. And, and we are knowing it in each moment that is, each instant that is, that's the being. Let it be that simple. Yes, there's all this elaboration of how the being of the moment, the beingness of the moment appears to be. All of, all of its elaboration and complexity. And... But fundamentally, just being. You know how as you're going to sleep, you can't make yourself go to sleep, can you? We just fall into sleep. We just let go into sleep, into the deep, fathomless darkness of sleep. And just let yourself fall into being just like that. dark in its fathomless, boundless, mysterious nature, but also palpably, obviously, concretely here as this. Because the being, this dark, fathomless, limitless expanse of being, the ground, groundless ground of everything, is also just you sitting here as being. So it's, it's the empty, vast, unknowingness and it is 
everything that seems to be known. It's there's no separation. All of it is being. That makes it easy because we're experiencing being in all of the complexity of life, seeming complexity and our everyday experiences. But all of it is the simplicity of being, the simple feeling of being. And just feel the way in which this is what you are. This is not something you're noticing. It's what you are, just being. The consciousness, if you will, that notices is simply being. All of it is being. It's the complete invulnerability of being because everything is being. So that's why it's invulnerable. There's no losing being. There's no destroying being. There's no possibility of missing being, actually. We can't help but feel being because it's the only thing to feel is being. The only thing to experience is being, actually. Again, in all of its elaborations, it's always remains being, right? The mystery. I mean, what is being? It's the mystery of, of this, the mystery of reality, the mystery of existence. But that palpable sense of something being here, now, is unmistakable, isn't it? We may not be able to determine what being is, but that sense of the presence of being is undeniable. The fact that something is, that something's appearing, this is being, beingness of everything. And as I said, we're we're already dissolved in being. <laughs> There's nothing to accomplish. We've never been anything but being. our everyday life, just doing whatever we're doing, relating to whomever we're relating to and engaged in whatever we're engaged with is at the same time, the absolute vastness of being. No dichotomy. Everything held in this being, the foundation of everything. What everything is resting within this being. It's not a particular state. It's the basis of all that we could call states of mind or states of experience. 
So it's not, it doesn't require anything to change in our state of mind in order for being to be the case, because it just is the case that the moment is, right? No matter how it, how it appears. So it doesn't matter how it appears. That literally doesn't matter what's happening because that is being, right? So no, nothing needs to be contrived. Nothing need, needs to be done. Nothing needs to be manipulated. No, no meditation is required. <laughs> no. But we could say that the, the, the noticing of this all-pervading being that is the basis of everything uh, somehow brings with it this sense, this feel, this flavor of um, potency and vibrancy and invulnerability and openness and no separation, just being as far as the eye can see. vast expanse of being. It's always the, the being has no history, no future. It's always in this instant. It's always slipping away ungraspable and yet strangely enough always here can't wrap your head around that <laughs> but you can feel that paradoxical nature of being how slippery it is and yet how constant it is at the same time and the fact that it there is that sense of it being both discontinuous and continuous just highlights how beyond comprehension it is that it doesn't fit into either of those categories that's its paradoxical nature it's um, but feel the way in which there's simply no separation. There's just being. You are being. You are being, the world is being. There's no actual separation between what we think of as us and the world. There's just a continuum of being that can look like a world, can look like people living in a world, but it's all this continuum of being, this whole, the wholeness of being. In the same way, you see all the different colors of the rainbow. It's like the spectrum of light that appears as all these distinct different sort of versions of the light right but it's it's a continuum if it's a spectrum of light we could say this is the spectrum of being that looks like a room and looks like a computer and looks like people and looks like a world and stars and planets and experiences and but all of it is 
this ground of being. And actually, it's what's always being felt. So our, our attention tends to be on how the being seems to be appearing, how it's being described. And then we can seemingly lose sight that fundamentally what it is is being. But being is that aspect of everything that is the same, right? The equalness of everything is its being. Sadness is and joy is. They both are expressions of being, expressions of life. Like all the different tones, you know, in, in a musical scale, they're all different frequencies of the same music, the same sound. Right? The sound can appear in so many different ways, but it's all a vibration, it's all energy, it's all being, it's all life. But it needn't it needn't be sought, right? Because <laughs> here it is. Hiding in plain sight, right? It is what you are. So it need not be searched for. That's what's looking through our eyes and experiencing everything as being. 